So the word on the street or the internet or right out of Jerome Ennis himself is that the up and coming fighter from Philadelphia who is highly ranked in the welterweight division is coming for Terence Crawford. And this is a fight we could see soon if he's able to get through his January fight on the undercard of Javante Davis. Recently, Terence Bud Crawford defended his WBO title against number six ranked David Avenison. But that didn't scare away title contender Jerome Ennis, who quickly issued a warning to the top guys that he's ready and he's on his way. Crawford, how do you feel and, and do you have any confidence that one of those guys will finally step up and, and give you that fight? I feel like they don't have no choice. They're, gonna, they're, gonna have no, they're not going to have no choice because, you know, uh, there's nobody really left to fight. It's all, everybody left to fight. It's all young, hungry guys. So you got to fight us or move up the weight. As for Crawford, his recent victory was pretty spectacular since the knockout blow that he delivered in the sixth round was so devastating that it apparently made a hole in his gloves. So I doubt he's scared of Jerome Ennis. But despite his latest knockout, which was his sixth straight title defense and 10th KO win, as well as a career high payday of $10 million, Crawford feels that boxing fans still aren't appreciating him because with no surprise, the question simply is what or who is next? And here's what he had to say. You know, we can't we can't overstep our boundaries. We don't know what is next, you know, so we just, you know, got to go to the drawing board and my phone stay on and, you know, we ready for whoever. He even alluded that it's possible that he would move up to 154 pounds, which is the light middleweight division. Y'all ready now? I'm tired of 47. <laughs> nah, nah. nah uh, I don't know. You know, uh, you know, uh, I feel like I can compete at 154. I feel like I'll be strong at 154 as well as 147. You know, uh, a lot of people say I'm small for 147, you know, but I just feel like, you know, with my strength and my skills and my uh my, my mindset that, you know, I can go up and wait and, and hang with the best of them. But he might be right about fans not being satisfied because fans clearly want to see more from Crawford with all the talent in and around the weight division. But here's two ways to look at it. The first is that you could say that he has been fighting good opposition. His opponents in the last five years include Sean Porter, Kel Brook, Amir Khan, Jose Benavidez Jr. and Jeff Horn, and that's not a bad resume. However, what fans really want to see is a career challenging fight against someone like Errol Spence, who holds the other belts. He said that he hopes that it can happen in 2023, but that ultimately it wasn't his fault that the fight fell through last time. I'll get myself and my lawyer, and we just make this, this fight you know what I mean? Anything we gotta do, we can do it right there and sign, seal, deliver. And Al told me straight up, that ain't never happened in the history of in, ever where two fighters sit down at the table and they come to an agreement and they get a fight made like that. Not even Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. So I'm like, okay, well, it's the first time for everything. I never heard of a fighter ever taking zero guarantee in a fight <laughs> i never heard of a, a a fighter of a four rounder taking zero percent of a guarantee that is something that's new to me but that's something that i was willing to do to to make this fight happen you know a lot of people you know they say oh well terrence you dug or terrence you you did this and you didn't want to fight spence i'm the only one that was taking all the risks you know, I told him, all right, cool. I take no guarantee. I take, you know what I mean, the less end of the, the money. You know, whatever it is you want, I take it because that's how much confidence I got that I'm gonna beat that man. That's how much confidence I got I'm gonna beat that man. So, you so of course that fight fell through, but it made fans question, why fight David Avenesian when you could try to make a fight with someone like Virgil Ortiz or Jerome Ennis, the top two contenders? Ortiz is the WBO international champion 
and didn't have a fight even booked when Crawford made the fight with David Avnesian, whilst number one challenger Jerome Ennis only recently confirmed his next fight on Javante Davis's undercard in January. And interestingly, Terence Crawford's trainer claimed that no one is chasing after Bud. And I, I don't think, me personally, I don't think nobody at 54 or 47 could be. It's as simple as that. And the, the only question is, who's gonna be willing to fight him? You don't see nobody calling out Bud. 54 or 47. So you're gonna probably try to stall him out. He'd probably move down to 35 and fight Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> <laughs> but this is where Ennis comes into the picture because he's already expressed for months that he's willing to fight anyone. And many fans, as well as Ennis himself, was wondering how Crawford overlooked Ennis when he's ranked higher than David Avenisian. Yeah, and what'd you think though when he's like, Boots' name didn't come up? You seem to respond to that quickly. Yeah, and it, it don't make sense how my name didn't come up at all when I'm ranked higher than the guy that he fought. So it didn't make any sense. You know, I say, everybody knew that I, I want I want to fight with him, Spence, you know, uh, whoever else I had to keep them and who guys. All these top guys, St. you know, uh, all these guys, you know, I want, I want Fred Ortiz, I want to fight all these guys, you know, and they, they know that. And I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they, they try to go around me. And I mean, they can't do that for too long though. I, I go in his, in his living room and fight him. So it don't really matter to me. I just, I just want to, you know, show my skills and my talent and show the world that I'm really, really that, that guy, you know, I'm the best, ever, I'm the best in this, in this weight class and, and me going to go, Whatever platform he on, or go to his hometown and, and taking that belt from him and doing it in a, in a beautiful fashion, you know, uh, that's that's what I want to do. You know, if I gotta do it, I, I'm gonna do it. And me being victorious and doing that, that's gonna be a big mark in my, in, in my boxing legacy. But of course, any fight with Crawford depends on if he's able to get through his next opponent. So I want to know what you think. Is he the real deal? Can Ennis beat Terence? And that would surely solidify him as one of the best in the world. So comment down below and let Remus know.